What we do here as a business is we sell parts um, mainly focused on Chevrolet trucks. We are licensed by General Motors to do reproduction cabs of both the uh, 4753 Chevy trucks, the 80 series, and also um, the Apache series like the 55 to 59s. We started this thing with nothing on our plate and just uh, really just took it from nothing to something and I think that's something to be absolutely 100% proud of right there. We all love what we do. Um, you know, there's hard work working with family. There's always your ups and downs there. Um, but at the end of the day, we all get along and we get the job done. So we have fun doing it. So it's fun. So this is year number four of me being um, in SEMA Battle of the Builders. We've been going bringing something new and trying to up our game every time. It's been a fun little uh, ride so far. This year, we are going to bring a brand new 1957 Chevy pickup has the inspiration of kind of like a pro touring look feel but kind of altered in its own way of our own little taste um, the thing has got you know big power the looks um, it sits on the ground it's, it's got the right stance big wheels big brakes this is going to be a, an eye catcher and i i'm excited to bring it to sema to see what people's response and everything else is this truck in general i really am excited about it last year we brought a bitchin truck this year we're going to bring it again, so um, I'm super stoked to see what the outcome is. This is a GM Crate LT4, supercharged, 650 horsepower, good power, reliability. Uh, you, you, know, you don't have to really touch or modify or do anything to crank any more power out of it. It is probably the perfect combo for what this era or this style of the truck was going to go with, so that's why we chose it. We pancake radius the, uh, the front eyebrows of these things to sharpen them out. Um, normally they roll. The, this one's going to have a body line that's going to run up over all the way down the whole side of the truck. Um, grill is going to be custom. Uh, obviously we shrunk, shortened up the bumper, welded up the cowl so there's no seam up on the cowl. And then uh, it gets into the actual cab modifications. Super subtle. Tight little radiuses on the door. Um, deleted the drip rails, pointed those out just to run with the body lines of the door edge. Um, we got some aftermarket door handles from Goolsby. It's slight subtle touch that we don't want it to jump out but we want it to be pronounced. Of course this thing is all framed welded together so this is a basically a mono bed. On this style of truck being it's so low there's a lot of modifications that go into the bed to make everything work and function. Um, simple, clean, uh, not overdone but I mean the, just the, the right amount of taste for what we had to do to get everything to work and fit. Uh, wheels and tires, uh, we went with Hot Rod by Void. Uh, they're a 2022 setup on this one, 20s in front, 22s in the rear, uh, followed by Willwood, uh, six piston brakes, big or big rotors, big calipers, um, get this thing to stop. The truck game has gone from your typical street trucks to now it's, you're looking at 4x4 four four world. I mean, you're looking at off-road world, and every category is on another level. You need to go to the next level and not just settle, you just keep on going. That is exactly why we go back to Battle of Builders because it pushes us every time to a new challenge and we love it.